Alex Hall from Stenhouse Muir at Oakleview Park here. It's women's football again. It's Stenhouse Muir women versus St. Mun women. Well, it was only uh, just a few days ago we had International Women's Day and today's Mother and Sunday. I'm looking forward to the game today. What's that? Uh, six games undefeated? Uh, well, six clean sheets, is it? Six, uh, six wins in a row with six clean sheets since the winter break. Uh, I think it's 12 or 13 unbeaten in the league, but yeah, six, six wins in a row with six clean sheets from, from Christmas. Well, you're doing well because I remember uh, well, you're second in the league just now and you're actually pushing uh, now for the top spot. Before for Farmington were undefeated, it was only a few months ago, uh, they were top of the league quite clear. And you're really putting pressure on them there. Yeah, if we win today, we go top. Um, so that's all, that's all our catch-up games played after today. Um, we always said, when you had, like, last time I spoke to you as well, we had a real tough time injuries, and we've now used it as an excuse, but yeah. it's 13 out over October, November. At the same time, there's, if a coach cares, they're prepared for yeah. that, and they're lying to you. Yeah. Um, so you feel you've got your, your full squad available, basically, and that's helping? We've got a couple still out, but in general, you're... No, you're never going to have a fully fit 100% squad every week. No. Um, but we're in a far better place now, yeah. You're the one of the few teams I've not seen in this league, so what can I expect from St Mun today? Well, we like to play football, so that's always something we want to do, and that's what we're known as. So hopefully we can really compete. We've had a lot of changes in our team recently, um, some older players moving on, so we're bringing through some of the youth. So we've got some of our academy players with us today, so from as well. So. It's really good for them to get the experience. So, but a wee bit mixed today. Um, yeah. Hopefully, we can compete. Stenhouse Muir are going a really good run. Yeah. Um, so, for us, it's just about getting out there and competing. Can we play good football and can we have a fair game? And you find it a wee bit tougher this season, eh? Than the last season, you did a bit Yeah, better. I think we're, well, we've obviously now developed our complete pathway. So, we've got from under eights, tens, you know, 14, 16, 18. So, sometimes you've got to take the hit somewhere. So, probably the women's team is the last kind of a step for us. So, yeah. now that we've got all the academy set up, then what we're really looking to see is over the next year or two, then we should be seeing that starting to come to fruition for us. Could you tell me about the theft day? I think you had the equipment stolen? Yeah, so we train and play at uh, Moss Edge Village, which is um, in, in Linwood, and it's a great facility for us. And we've got our own container there. They've been really great with us, been able to store and keep our equipment there. But Last Friday night, um, people came over and they stole all our equipment um, from everything from even our filming platform to all the balls we had, mm -hmm. um, um, some of the benches that we use for um, match day and things. So virtually everything that helps us function as a team, but it actually affected uh, three of our age groups, which was 16s, 18s and the women's team. So, um, But what I've got to say is when we've put out there asking for help, the local community has been absolutely fantastic for us, which is really good, good. to see for women in girls football because... Yes. Sometimes we can be the forgotten part in football, and but the community have been so supportive of us to try and get us back on our feet and moving forward. And have you got a crowdfunding campaign? We yeah. have. We've got a GoFundMe uh, campaign, which is just under St Mirren WFC. So um, if you want, you can go out there. The link's out there. You'll see it in most of the social media pages we've got. And that's been great as well. Um, we reached the target on International Women's Day, which has been fantastic. So, um, But we're always looking for more support so that we can replace everything, because you know what it's like. You gather all this equipment over a number of years and actually what you paid for it back then is not what no. we're going to pay for it now so so I think it'll probably cost us a wee bit more than that but every penny that we can raise we'll just get the girls back playing football well off much thank you and we're just getting ready for kick off it's a uh, steady to kick off <laughs> oh the are crossing oh I thought we were going out for a corner but it's not no. Oh, missed everybody out. Oh, short and target. Oh, no. 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 Oh, yeah. Oh no, it's a throw in. <laughs> must have saved it from going out for a corner, I thought it was. Oh, I don't shot they are on target, but not really trouble the goalie. Oh, oh Yeah, 
Ich sollen wir nicht so gut. Oh, wie war rüber? Oh. Der Fan ist der Rafter Pir auf der. Jeffer, but not. If you check your side and a good ball in. Oh, loose. There we go. Oh, off the line. Oh. Can you see that good end? It's a goal. Stay with me to one. Sit one and all. Berlin. Oh, oh, just missed it. Last to Good soul effort. Oh, really? Oh, good boy. Good boy. She's on, sir. She's on. Well, I know, again, if he's just corrected, that could have been give a good goal. Oh, no, I don't know. Oh. Then, oh, I pass. Oh, okay. Oh, there we go. It's a foul. Right, two players in the wall here. Not a bad direct shot, it is. Oh, that wasn't too far away. Chance here if we can get the ball over. Oh. Corner. First corner is a bum. Oh, we float there, yeah, but. Oh. Yeah, chance of break over here. Oh, oh tried the effort there. Oh, hit the post. Oh. Oh, 
Okay, okay, though. No. You got a target. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, no, shot there. Oh, no. Oh, corner again. Oh, another good header. Oh. Oh, he left it too long off. Oh, a chance here, but just couldn't do it. Oh, oh, good save there. Good shout there. There we go. Three out and steady. Well, that's it, half time. And it's a uh, 3 0 to steady. So, that goal was just scored right on half time. Feel at half time there, eh? Stanley just got that goal just in the brink of half time. I'm trying to get a half time review. There's not, not as many people here today, and sadly, eh, well, it's, it's, it's not wrong with you, but it's usually only just eh, family, parents, friends, and things like that. You didn't really get fans along. Eh, I was trying to get some half time review, it's been a lot of them, but eh, need me confident enough to be in camera. Eh, but there's a few uh, Samurn fans, a few of the pairs of buddies are along and uh, they're a wee bit aggrieved. Uh, they feel that oh, there's one offside here a bit tight. I'll, I showed it there. Uh, there was, I think there was a Samurn player booked for kicking the ball away pretty early on and they felt that the same should have happened against uh, So they're arguing against consistency. They recognise that Stenny deserve to be in the lead but they just want to see a bit of consistency from the ref. <laughs> Oh, she slipped. Oh, oh, the ball away. Oh, chance it, really, chance it, oh. Oh. Oh, you chance here. Oh. I'll have to look at Van again. Oh, oh, right. Oh. So, Connor, there's one thinking about the short one there, but no, we're going to go for Oh, a chance here now. Oh, I'll get the ball over. Oh. Oh, there's a ball there. Oh, oh. oh 
Oh, if you want near. Oh, no. Good idea. This is the new one, right? Chance here. You see where we go, eh? That was the best chance eh, for some in this game. Oh, oh, we, a wee fight going on there. Close again. Chance you're now. Oh no, offside, is it? Oh, oh, I don't know how there's a little bit in here, plus one, but there we go. It's full time. And full time score is a, is a half time score. 3 0 to Stennis. Another good performance, another clean sheet. And that's you now top of the league. Delighted with the result. It's another win, you said, not a clean sheet. I thought the second half we dropped off. Um, 
the intention in the second half was to really push on, keep a foot in the gas. I don't think we've done that. I think they probably caused them more problems. We had to change our shape as well. Um, but overall, it's another, it's another good result. Yeah, and you managed to bring on uh, a few subs as well. Uh, was that to try and uh, change your tactics or was it just to give players a rest as well? Because yeah, when, we, when you've got a squad, you can rotate it. Yeah, it definitely shows the strength in the squad. That we, we didn't plan on changing the shape. Um, we felt the tips were opening 10, 15 minutes. We looked quite open and it looked like it was going to become a real game. So we, we changed our shape, nullified their threats. Um, and then again, yeah, freshening up towards the end of the game just to, to try and hit them on the transitions. But um, performance, I'm not, I wasn't too happy in the second half. Yeah. I thought we dropped off. I mean, that was, to be fair, it's the modern. They came out in the second half and really gave it a good go. No, oh, I think they definitely they were they caused them more problems the second half, I said that's why I made the changes to nullify them, but I thought we dropped off our usual level. Um yeah. which is the disappointing thing, but as I say, like it's it's a long season, it's it's a, it's a good result. It's another clean sheet, that's seven clean sheets in a row, you can you can't argue that. Um so delighted with that and obviously it puts us top of the league for the moment anyway. Um, and they kick off them. A good second half performance, they'll be thinking if you played that in the first half, we'd have been a different game. Well, it's like we said, um, we're going through that transition, so actually on the second half we brought in a lot of our younger players, so we finished the second half there with uh, two 15-year-olds, a 16-year-old and a 17-year-old. So we can see the talents coming through, it's about us getting them bled yeah, up and through. Yeah. So I think for us we know how well the team can do, um, but definitely I thought that the second half performance was much better. Yeah, you still had some chances as well, and sometimes it's just that final ball there, eh? yeah. but that'll come with experience. Yeah, I think it comes with time, it's a bit about decision making, I think when people are young, the caravans sometimes don't have that experience, so it's just about them getting loads of game time, and that's what we're about, longer term for us what we're doing, we understand what we want to do with the club and where we're going, so yeah, the future's definitely bright. Okay, thanks very much. You scored two goals, you'll be pleased with that. You want to describe them to me? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so the first goal, there was a gap, so as for Leah for the ball through, there was quite a few opportunities like that. So we got um, that opportunity and just, I thought I hit it a bit late, Was so I was pleased when it went in the goal. And then the other one, um, it deflected off one of the defenders and after Lucia tried to have a shot, and I heard Eva shout for it, but it was almost too late, so I just hit the ball. I was like, I've got a score now. So yeah. I was pleased to get that one as well, yeah. Quite right as well. The passing and about the uh, making each other available. Eh? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Um, yeah, I don't normally ignore shouts, I just want to say that, but like, <laughs> uh, <laughs> she, um, it was a bit late by the time I had the ball by my feet, so. That's right. I mean, you, you have to make that decision, don't you? You know? Yeah. That's your top of the league now, so. Yeah. Uh, that, yeah, that's really good to see, yeah. Yeah, really pleased. We obviously had a game in hand, so it was good to finally get to the top. OK, thanks very much. Thanks for watching, folks. That's Denny, top of the league, all beating goals of friends, but well done. Them. Oh, a big thank you to Jer, the photographer. He was telling me he goes round the, what are the games, the championship one and two, the women's football, and uh, I was speaking to him before the game. I didn't realise how cold it was when I got there. And I was just saying to him, oh, I'm absolutely freezing, I forgot my gloves. He said, here you go, and he lent me his gloves. So it was a really nice touch. Thanks very much to Jer. I hope you got some good photos of the game. So what a weekend I've had. Friday night, Lowland League, Hearts B versus Albion Rovers. Eastern Scott League on the Saturday, 3rd Division. Hoyk Royal Arbor versus Stonyburn. Oh, what a game that was. Unbelievable. And on Sunday there, the Scottish Women's Football League won. Everybody who spoke to me as well, really appreciate it. Thanks for watching, and if you like what I do, please subscribe to my channel. Until next time, I'll see you behind the goals.